Yes, T Renee. <clears throat> you a little too happy. Bring that all the way down. Hey guys, it's T Renee, aka Renee Moore, the girl with the gap. That was. No, do that over. <laughs> that was so forced. <laughs> Today I'll be telling you about one of my worst hair salon experiences ever. Okay? So I walk in to this lovely lady. She seemed real cool, real nice. She did the hair great. Well, it was I. She did the hair I the first two times. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll, I'll be going here then. So about I want to say the third month, things start to go go wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this particular month I wanted dark, medium length chocolate hair. The lady puts the solo thing on my head. She minding her business, doing what she do, watching TV. I, I don't know. I'm sitting there thinking about all the things I'm gonna be doing at school tomorrow, and then all of a sudden I get a tingling sensation on my head, and it's just like somebody tap dancing on my nerves in my scalp. And I'm just sitting there like, maybe it'll go away. No, no, it got worse. It, it definitely got worse. And then eventually it hurt so much where I was like, excuse me, is this supposed to burn? Why didn't you say something before? Why ain't you doing your job? Because if you were doing your job, you should have asked me, uh, hey, does it burn? Or um, maybe it's time to take this out because it's been in for a while. Um, maybe. I should check and see how things are going. No, you left me to be burnt and to die. That's what you did. So she rinses the cellophane out. My mom, I think my mom went to the car because she handicapped, she can't sit there. She, can, she has a direct view of me in the store, so she's looking right in there. The lady starts doing my hair, and I begin to smell a smell. It, it was a weird smell. I, it, it smelled familiar. But it smelled like a smell that I wouldn't want in my life on a regular daily basis at all. I didn't want that in my life at all. I didn't want it near my nostrils. Okay. I'm like, maybe it's the hair product. It was like, because every it seemed like every time she would like put some solution on my hair, I could smell it. She got real close. Real close. And I'm just I'm just sitting there. Cause my eyebrows. I'm sitting there with the smile on my face because the pain from my eyebrows being burnt off by this smell, my eyelashes falling out, my, my mustache hair just falling in fragments on the floor. I, I ain't been too old to know these type of smells. Let's just say somebody didn't use Summer's Eve this morning. In the words of Mr. Krabs, this is a smell. The type of smell that smells smelly. That's what I'll, that's as much as I can describe that smell, okay? See over here, so how are things going down there? <laughs> Great, my eyes just burn a little bit. Oh, you think it's, is it burning from the cellophane? I thought I watched it all out. Oh, it's burning because of other reasons. We almost done. 30 more minutes, I, I think I can hold on that long. Hold on to what? Hold on to life. I think I can hold on to life for another 30 minutes. Can you stop talking to me? Cause I'm breathing in the smell. She knew I had asthma. I, I think in my hand, I'm over here. <laughs> Time she reached for that hot comb. I'm telling you, that stench could have sent me to the Lord. I was praying for anything. A UFO, a skunk to spray that funk away. So this other little girl came in. She was so cute with her little braids, just flopping around. Oh, I guess she was getting the braids taken out. So the lady and the assistant switched, and I was just like, Hallelujah, yes, the Lord is blessing me, it's blessing me. But then I thought about it, I was like, dang, that sucks for her though. The little cutesy girl ain't gonna have that smell on her face in a minute. That lady walked over to the little girl, and I was just looking at her like, I'm a deaf, 3 p.m. She was so young, so young. That lady, that lady got in front of that little girl. The little girl was like, oh. and the little girl go out to nurse. And the little girl go out to nurse and look at me like I did something to her. Breathe through your mouth. 
breathe through your mouth. Breathe. After the assistant finished my hair up, the other lady said, come back. Can't wait to see you next month. Girl, I ain't coming back no more. Hello? I did not come back again. <laughs> okay. I hope y'all enjoyed this story time video. I just wanted to get that one off my chest because I feel like somebody else should share this pain with me. If you like the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And check out the social media links down below. I'm T. Renee, aka Renee Moore, the girl at the Gap, and this Gap is out. Peace. A date with you should come with a warning label. Side effects include a bad time and lessons learned, loss of hearing, a change in phone number, a funny story, a blocked Facebook request.